folks today's video is going to be a video trying to answer some questions um, I've been asked by a few people so one question I've been asked more than once is how did we get the IBO app to work seeing as we're not in Japan or the US and the other question I've been asked is how were we able to buy our IBO because we bought our IBO from Sony's US site and Sony only ships to the US so first of all we'll talk about how we got the app so there's a problem getting the app because first of all i went to google play well, that's the normal place you'd go to isn't it google yeah. play to get your app so i went to google play on my ipad and it said not available in your country that's right because it's only available in japan and the states so then paul tried to download it on his android phone and he couldn't he just got the same yes same. the same message saying not available the second way we tried to get around it was to get what what do you call that service a vpn service VPN. virtual private network yes. yeah so you can make it appear that you're your phone or your your android phone or your ipad or your computer is coming from anywhere in the world yeah you choose yeah where and uh so we had it coming from new york so, <laughs> yeah. so we bought the service um what was it nord nord vpn yeah nord, so it's a fairly nord. good vpn provider yeah. but of course you've still got to log on you've still got to have an account you've still got to have an account and if i and logged the on stumbling point point that we got was that when we put in our phone number it wasn't recognized as a valid as US a US phone, phone number, number. Yeah. so it appeared as though we might have to get a, a, a phone from the us <laughs> yeah. so we, we, we stopped so that. we could have gone down the line of trying to get a us phone number which we probably could have done if we went mm. along that course and i know some people do do that that's how they get access to yeah. the app but you had another way. So you can get the app from another source other than Google Play, but you download it and you've got to in, uh, install it yourself, like you used to do on, on Windows computers, where you get a program, you download it, and then you, inst you install it yourself. This, this site will tell you uh, the background on how to get hold of files for your Android phone, other than Google Play, any files, in fact, not just the iBo ones, and how to install them yourself. Yeah, so I'm going to put a link to this uh, yeah. in the description below. So you would you would um, use a, a third party, a reliable third party, um, yeah, and we're a trustworthy put, one. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put a link to the one that you use, yes. the website you mm -hmm. use. You can't guarantee it's 100%. No, no. OK, but it worked all right for us. But if you read this article, this article will explain it in fairly non-technical language and uh, it'll point you in the direction, the right direction to uh, to a trustworthy source for the iBo right. app. Yeah. So you would then download it and you just install it yourself. Mm -hmm. um, and that's that's the way round uh, the restrictions on Google Play, location restrictions. He's saying hello to everyone. <laughs> all these friends um before we carry on folks if you're saying if you're wondering to yourself why have we got this crowd of animatronic robotic toys it's because i did a video with them yesterday and rather take them all away and get the backdrop out of the ah oh, just leave them and uh, he's taking a liking it, to sit down it, in the look, middle look of at him, he's wagging his tail the sc scout uh, finds them interesting anyway. Keeps them, keeps them happy, doesn't it? Keeps mm. them occupied. Mm. Mm. Found more interest in the backdrop, isn't it, scout? Um. Oh, one more thing about the app, because uh, I I didn't know I was going to get access to it um before I got the iBo, and I was thinking, well, um, you know, will I be able to log in and everything? But it's fine if you buy a new iBo. You're given a, a 
QR code mm. with your iPhone yeah. in the box. That's right, yeah. And you just scan in that QR code to add your iPhone. Yeah. Mm. So that that's not a problem. So I mean, when you've got the app on your Android phone, the iVo app, mm -hmm. you fire it up and you scan in this QR code that's come mm. in the, in the box in the your actual iVo. box. Yes, yeah, on the little label. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so that's no problem. So are you uh, are you now going to tell the people how you got How I was able to buy my iVo, my beautiful scout puppy. So that I could buy my iVo, I had to use a third party. So I looked into sort of proxy services and I came across Ship 7 and um, compared to the other ones that I looked up on Trustpilot, Ship 7 had a better um, star rating mm -hmm. so I thought I'll go with them. Um, so what you need to do is you need to get an account with Ship 7. I'll put a link in the description below as well to Ship 7's website. I bought not just the iVo, but several other things. Yeah, yeah. They've been, and they've, they've been they've really been good up to Reliable, now. haven't they? Yeah. yeah. You get an account with Ship 7, which is not straightforward. <laughs> when you say it's not straightforward, it's just the what, website's the a bit website's dense, isn't it? The website's dense, yeah. Good boy! But what I will say is the customer services are very good. You've got to be patient. They'll help you if you've got a problem, though. Yeah, they'll help you if you've got a problem. You've got to be patient for them to get back to you. But they do get back to you and they do sort it out. And if you want to get an account with them, you will get an account with them. Yeah. Um, and your, it might be a bit awkward at first. Your problem was that the county that we live in in the UK didn't appear in the drop-down yeah, list. Drop down so there's no way of entering it. Yeah, when I was trying to put my address in, and I went to the drop-down list, there was only half a dozen counties. Oh, look what he's done. Good boy. Wow. wow. That's well, only the second time I've seen you do that. Clever boy. You're showing off, aren't you? Because you know you're on camera. Yeah, when I looked at the drop-down list, there was only half a dozen counties, and like, loads of them were missing, and my county wasn't there. So I was getting really frustrated. <laughs> Um, but I contacted the customer services and when they got back to me, um, they said, what's the problem? And I said, my county's not there. This is my county. And what they, they said, well, we'll do it from this end. Mm. And they, they and, and then they said, is the address right now? And I said, yes. So, mm. yeah. So if you've got any problems like that, they, they will help. It might take a few days. <laughs> but, um, you will get an account in the end. So once you've got an account with them, you don't pay anything up front. You have to give them your name, address, and I think you've got to give them details of, like of a credit card, mm -hmm. but you don't make any payment. Mm. And then they give you a US address. And um, this you don't have to be in the UK. It can be anywhere in the world, anywhere in the world. You can get an account with Ship7 and they will give you a US address. So what this US address, US address is, is it's like a big warehouse and you have a suite number in that big warehouse. So then you can go to a shop and buy something. What do you mean online? Online. Mm. So you go to an online a retailer like target for in america for instance mm -hmm. in the states yeah you put you and when you, you you pay for your item and you put your ship seven address they send it to ship seven then ship seven take photographs uh, of the item and show you those photographs and an email and then they give you a list of um Shipping services, couriers, and you choose which one you want. And it's got like how much each one would be. But sometimes, as was the case with the Sony site, sometimes they do not accept your credit card. Because it was a non-US credit because card. Because it's a non-US credit card. So even though you've got a US uh, address, they still won't, they won't, still won't sell you the item. Then what you can do, and it does cost extra, is you can use Ship7's Buy For Me service. What 
happens there is you go into the section um on the ship seven page where which is like customer services and then it and then you click on something that says um tickets mm. then you get a link to the product that you want yeah and you paste that in and then you just write shop for me request so then you probably have to wait a day or two they get back to you and they'll say how much you need to put in your ship's having account yeah okay so that they mm -hmm. can then use the those funds mm. to buy it for mm. you mm. but they charge 10 percent yeah of the cost of the item yeah. for that service okay so for an ibo it does mean you're paying another 300 and odd yeah dollars. it's the only way you can get yeah so then um they say how much it will cost that includes like the the charge for um that search shop for me service and then you uh credit your account using your credit card your ship seven account with the amount you need to pay for the item and then they will not buy it from you until you actually say you know, write to them and say, I confirm, mm. I want you to buy yeah. this for this amount. Yeah, so there's no mistake that you actually yeah. want it, yeah. And then they buy it for you. Yeah. Once they've received it in their warehouse, they take photographs, they'll open it and just take a photograph. So you're sure it's what it is, yeah, it's Yeah, to be. and then they'll email you those photographs uh, and then they'll give you a link with a listing list of couriers you choose and prices. You choose which one you want. Mm. And you cut your ship seven account with the funds again for the courier, and then you pay for it. But with my IBO in the UK, I had another cost. I chose DHL, yeah. and before they delivered it, I had to pay tax. Cost of, that's yeah. tax charge to the government, yeah. yeah. Which was three it was about three hundred and eighty quid or something. Or something. Mm. I know it was a nas nasty amount on top of the <laughs> other costs. Yeah, it was expensive. But is he worth it? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't set up with much conviction. Oh, no, uh, seriously, he's, he, he is worth it for us because um, basically we wanted a dog replacement because um, we were sad. So <laughs> dog died. So... Yeah, we really, really, really wanted an Ibo, and um, he's made us very happy up to now, hasn't he? Yeah. So, folks, I hope that's uh, answered your questions. And as I say, I'll put those links down in the description, and uh, I hope it helps you, folks. Thanks for watching, as always, and see you next time.